Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so, ah, uh, wow. I am launching the Kerbin Fuel Depot. Um, I made a few changes on it compared to the build episode, la well, I should say last episode, which was the build episode. Um, I added on these retrofit kind of modules. Um, they're also kind of be used for things like xenon gas, uh, going out to satellites and refueling them and stuff like that. Um, there's been, you know, a few other slight changes. Um, I did add the, uh, what is it, the solar panels and all that stuff. I forgot to add those on there in the build episode. Um, I didn't add lights to it or anything like that. Um, really nothing else. Uh, whoa, come on, slow down. There we go. Yes, so, um, yeah, nothing really new, I should say, that I added on. But this is our first launch, our first vehicle being put into space. Um, you know, well, I guess, yeah, it is our first vehicle to be put into space. Uh, first space station. And, uh, yeah, I'm hoping, I got high hopes for this thing. I'm really hoping that this thing is kind of the definitive station to dock to and refuel and everything else and there really isn't any problems with you know how it works and everything else and you know the overall design and functionality of it just work very well because I don't really think I could come up with a better design than this and I'm so used to turning off my SAS and now you don't even have to turn it off to maneuver and I think that is just amazing. It lets you take control. The only problems I am noticing with it though, and I will say, is that it still it doesn't lock on like you expect it to. It kind of lingers a little bit. It, like it will um, wander too depending in in it's okay but i didn't expect it to wander as much as it normally does I, it kind of will stay in there and if it's not you know sturdy enough it will start rocking around and the other thing too is the sound in this menu has kind of been cut out now it's completely gone so i just won't spend as much time in this menu as i anticipated but uh the music once it comes back on uh the first time you get to hear music in the new game, first thing being launched, it's kind of an epic moment. Um, pretty happy with it. Uh, you know, I, I did do a few launches beforehand, uh, so I mean, it technically isn't my first launch, but I haven't gotten anything into orbit yet. My, I just did like a preliminary launch to make sure that it in fact can make it to space and it in fact won't fall apart into a million different pieces. It's kind of funny that our first launch is not with Bill, Jebediah, or Bob in the cockpit, which kind of sucks, but hey, whatever. But I plan on putting this thing at a pretty high orbit. I think like 200, something like that would be pretty good. But we're going to have to kill the engines here just so we can kind of make up for the rest of our burn. More towards the AP. And I will say, man, Kerbin is looking beautiful. And you can kind of see the moon from here, but just not the same. Come on. I thought I'd turn those off. There we go. Yeah, I did. Now they're off. So let's just wrap up this burn. There shouldn't be too much left now. Um, But yeah, I I'm just completely happy and I, I ended up zooming out before uh, alright we've reached an orbit I ended up zooming out before and just looking at everything and I'm like it's so empty it's so bare there needs to be more things and uh, yeah slowly but surely this entire solar system will be full of goose crap Let's see. Alright, now I'm going to bring this one out to like 250, 250-ish. 
and uh, we'll call it a day on that side. Um, I'm going to pop out these solar panels too once we get on the other side. I'm not really too concerned with power if you noticed. Um, I think, you know, 43,000 power is good enough to make it. <laughs> yeah, I think I went a little bit OD with the power. You don't, you don't need to tell me that. Um, but, you know, that was the thing is I just, uh, I didn't really realize how much power, you know, when you think about it, you look at one, you're like, okay, 4,000, that's not a lot. But when you put 10 of those on there and you don't really realize it, then you're like, oh my god, what have I done? But, you know, it was, it was all good. It, it, it's okay. It's, it's, it ain't no thing but a chicken wing, as they always say. All right, so turn off the RCS, and we'll continue our burn, and we'll, we'll just bring it out to, oh god, come on, there we go, oh, it's moving, there we go, bring it out to, oh my god, 650 it is, dear god. I did not mean to go out that far, but I'm okay with this. Alright. We're going to have to line it up with the moon, too, in a bit, so... Let's set the moon as a target. That way we can fix this node, because it's a little off, and it looks a little silly. So bring it down. Let's see, N-A-N. -N. Wow. That is really touchy. I think they may have tweaked the node a little bit too. Um, well, the nodes. I, I, I don't mean like in a bad way or, you know, they changed anything. But I think they made them a little bit uh, less sensitive. Which, if they did, I love them for that. Because, my god, it's annoying trying to line up anything. And it's just like giving you a pain the entire time there we go just line this up and I'm gonna do that real quick and oh I should deploy these solar panels now I did group them I finally group something for the first time ever you know it's like I never freaking group anything so there we go looks beautiful so let's spin this around we're going to do a little tiny burn just to uh, fix that because it looks a little bad. Let's bring this up. There we go. It, it's gotten a little bit more precise and that's the part that I like about it. Uh, you know, y you don't have to constantly turn it off, turn it back on, turn it off, turn it back on and fix it. And that's the best part about it, I think. To be honest, it really just was the most annoying thing having to always turn it off there we go 0, 0.0 now we're gonna have to come out here and continue our burn um, I'm gonna probably have to do a few correctional burns here and there but it shouldn't be so bad um, where's this all right yeah, that's retrograde, so I think I've already screwed this up. I can still do a little bit of a burn, but we're, like, basically on the uh, AP, so it's going to be a little bit of a problem. Oh, my God. Kill the engine. I think I've already screwed it up. Yep. That's what happens when you just start burning without really trying to fix it. There we go. Alright, bring this down. I think if we burn a little bit this way, we'll fix it. There we go. Yep. There, at least I fixed it a little bit. Let's put this on here. We're going to increase this one, but we'll end up just decreasing it over here. We'll be able to get somewhat of a burn in. And then we'll just have to come around and fix it a little bit. Not too much of a problem. Uh, 
All right, I'm gonna stop it right about there. That's good. I want to put this thing in a very high orbit. I know a lot of people aren't gonna like the fact that it's in high orbit, but it will make it a little bit easier when you're going to dock to it. And also, um, you know, this is a, gonna be a really big depot, and it's gonna. I just passed my note again. All right, there we go. I'm just gonna bring that down a little bit, flip around, and then we'll do some final finalization stuff to it. But I want to get this at a higher altitude, just because it really deserves to be at a higher altitude. There we go. I keep on thinking we're screwing up the nodes, but I think we'll, we'll be alright. If anything, I think I'm going to drop it down to 500, to be honest. I, I think 500 is perfect. that will probably be more than enough the node is still pretty much good and that that's the main thing uh, I just didn't want the nodes to be messed up in any kind of way maybe I'll try to adjust it a little bit with RCS over here or you know over here I should say um, to see if I can bring it down to NAN once it's fully docked up or I mean once it's fully in the full orbit that I want it to be in so this is gonna have to come down to 500 you know I have plenty of fuel so I'm not really concerned with the whole fuel ordeal I have to kill the engine here pretty quickly all right 262 perfect If I brought this up a little bit, then I probably wouldn't be pushing the, uh, what is it, the PE away, so. There we go. Just speed this up. Bring this up a little bit. And I think that should do it. It's looking almost perfect right now. We're, it's like roughly 800 off. 800 meters, I should say. That, that really isn't that bad. 207. See, now it's this, this weird game bug that I always get. And it always brings down... Brings it down just by a little tiny bit. And it, it's just absolutely annoying. There's no way for me to fix it either. I really don't know how to fix it. Yeah, now they're off by like 300 something. That that's, ooh, excuse me, that's fine with me. 300 never was a bad thing. So we still have both of our things out. Uh, the, uh, you know, the satellite refueler kind of things. I wasn't expecting them to stay on here, but you know, um, I'm glad that they did because it one less launch for me. So that, that's always a good thing. Let's bring this over to the descending node real quick. And uh, I'm going to see if I can mess around with it a little bit. See if I can bring it down to NAN. I don't think it's going to be possible, but it would be kind of cool to see if I can reach NAN. I don't think so. Yeah, it's such a relatively small number that I don't think it's ever going to be reached. So that that's perfectly fine. Um, let's rename this thing since I haven't. Oh, I can toggle the torque. Oh, I can disable the reaction wheels and all that stuff. That's cool. Um, let's see. Ro no, yeah, that, that this is a space station there we go now okay I just need to transfer out the RCS and that will be it um, successful launch first launch my first my very first launch in the new game super successful 
absolutely amazing. Now, I actually, yeah, I have to say, my very first launch was completely successful. I, I even with my testing, I not even the rocket, like the rocket didn't even fall apart. Nothing, nothing went wrong. So overall, pretty freaking good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this attached just for now. And once I bring up my first fuel tank, I'm probably going to end up draining some of the fuel out. So this will help out because then I'll be able to just use this fuel tank. And, you know, whatever fuel I have left over, I can just dump it. So that, that will save us a little bit. I'd rather keep this fuel up here. It's worth it. So anyways, guys, um, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like what you see here, subscribe. And oh yeah, to you new people welcome and uh yeah thank you for watching and i will see you next time